isn't it funny that the idiot that was wasting weed on camera all the time and probably triggering the shit out of a whole lot of people is also the smart one that seems to always know where to find it now. Right? <laughs> I was paying attention. I know I was making motherfuckers mad. I know I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I had to learn. I had to learn the process. And it was so fucking hilarious that there were so many people that would come out of the shadows, out of the dark depths of their fucking caves, their corners, their caverns, wherever that they were literally resting at for all this time. They saw me attempting to inhale a blunt, and they said, oh no, homie, oh no, 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 let me help you, let me help you. Coming out the motherfucking woodworks, the moment they saw that in my hand, the moment they saw that to my mouth, the moment they saw me flick a lighter, they come out the motherfucking shadows. Oh, ho, 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 man, hold on, let me help you out, let me help you out, let me help you out real, real quick. And I'm like, excuse me? A minute ago, I was just by myself doing this. At least I thought I was. <laughs> I must have forgot that I had windows, <laughs> you know? I must have forgot that this is recording, that people was gonna be watching. <laughs> I must have forgot that people was gonna be seeing my face after everything I was doing, after everything I was talking about. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I got an answer to a whole lot of stuff, don't I? <laughs> I said, oh shit, this is gonna be exciting because I get to do it with a smile on my face. And this smile is pretty genuine too. It's, it's not it's not made up, it's not fake. It's now, I know what I'm doing and I'm thankful that I get to do it the way that I had dreamed to do it. I know what I've achieved and what I've been doing in my time and what I've done in my life. I've, known, I've been aware of my own personal growth and I felt it in my own spirit. I felt it in my wake up process. For some reason, I remembered everything I was talking about before and now I'm just looking at where I'm at right now. I'm looking back at where I was when I was saying everything, and I'm looking at my current state right now and how I'm able to speak. My dialogue has changed. My dialogue has improved. I don't have any fear in saying how I feel because that's what you're supposed to do in your life. You are entitled to your feelings. You are entitled to your opinion. Nobody can take that away from you. It comes a time though where you remember in the very beginning that you had a certain mindset with how you wanted to do things and get things done. And you felt like the way you were doing your way was always the right way. Until someone challenged that perspective every fucking day. The everyday person next to you that watches you live the way you live in, the, watches, the everyday person that's watching you live the way you live in, and then they criticize you, they critique you on every fucking little thing that you're doing that just don't fucking feel right for them. I don't like that. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're saying. I don't like that. I don't like you. I don't get you. And I will just never fucking understand you. So I'm just going to be the person that sits here and just keeps on fucking being the biggest hater every fucking day of your life because I ain't got shit else to do and I know for a fact you ain't going to do shit about it. There's a name for that kind of person, right? <laughs> a specific name that we reference every fucking day of our lives, how much we are trying to push that motherfucker out of our lives, away from us to get eternal peace, right? But it seems like that motherfucker wants to come every fucking day though, and doesn't give a damn about how much you want your eternal peace. Nah, bro, I'ma fuck with you one way or another. I'm a troublemaker, I got to. It's just your face, it says it all. I look at you and I just know I got to start something with you, cause it's gonna be fun. But damn, you don't see him to react to shit no more, man. Shit ain't fun with you. It's not fun anymore, man. It used to be fun. But now it's not. That nonchalant ass attitude, man. I can't stand nonchalant people. It gets annoying. 
You acting like you all cool and chill and shit like nothing phased you all of a sudden. I just saw how you was reacting not too long ago when I said this or when I did that. Now all of a sudden you just sitting there like you don't give a two shits about what the fuck could happen next. What's going on with you? You not fine. Something's wrong. Something's up with you. Nah, man, you faking. You frauding, bro. I know you got stuff on your mind because you the type of person that holds stuff on your mind all the time. So you can't front, man. Tell what's on your mind. Let it out. Let it go. Stop holding on to the past. Stop fucking holding on to shit that don't mean anything anymore. Let it go. Let it out and just move on, man. Come on. Say it. Say it. Say it. That's the motherfucker that's waiting for Stefan to speak. But before Stefan even speaks, that's what they're saying. As Stefan is listening, waiting for the opportunity to speak. It's like, got you, man. I'm going to, if you allow me to. Because I sat there and allowed you to fucking rant for about the past five, ten minutes. About me. And my shit. You ranted about me and my shit. Way more than I would rant about my own shit. So... What does that say about you if you're talking about someone else's shit way more than they acknowledge it themselves? Why are you on their shit more than your shit? And then when you realize you're on their shit more, how does it make sense to you that you all of a sudden gotta fall back and get back on your shit? Because you found out you was on someone else's shit too damn much, too damn hard, for too damn long. Whose fault was that? Damn, there wasn't the person that was watching you be on their shit because he was wondering, damn, why do you care about my shit so much more than the shit that you need to fucking fix right now? Sorry, did I go off a little bit too much because that's what seems like that's what my problem has been. My shit was being focused on too much because I wasn't doing it right. So it was more important for people in their fucking worlds, in their times, in their universe to come help a poor soul out that they saw struggling, that they swore need they needed their help. Even though he ain't asked for it, he ain't say, yo, my man, can you help me learn how to smoke this real quick? Yo, my man, can you help me get this real quick? This motherfucker just appeared with bread, appeared with weed, started fucking smoking, started lighting the fucking blunts and, cig and cigars on. Ah, st ah, shit, started lighting whatever the fuck he wanted to light up, actually, in front of him. And then everybody came out of nowhere and said, let me chime in on that. And I'm like, excuse me. I don't even know you. Remember, we're still strangers. I got acknowledged as a stranger once before when I moved into my, uh, when I moved over to this neighborhood. And I was out for a walk. And there was a little kid outside, and he spoke to me. However, I think his pop, his uncle, whoever, older brother, was right next to him out in front of the steps and was telling him, hey, what I tell you about talking to strangers? But he said, no offense to you, bro. Because he was like, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. And I was like, none taken. I completely understood what he was telling that, that child. Don't talk to strangers, because that's the same shit that my folks definitely told me when I was just a little kid just like him. So I said, teaching them young. That's exactly the type of stuff I need to be around. That's the stuff I need to hear. Remembering that there are people that are still trying to take care of their own and raise their own the smart way. I could get acknowledged as a stranger out here all day and night, right? But you know what they also know about the stranger? He ain't a danger. Number one, that stranger ain't a danger. He ain't a threat. He ain't a danger to you. You ain't gotta be paranoid like the motherfucker's gonna come around the fucking corner trying to rob you like you're part of the fucking mob that you was in once upon a time. That motherfucker walking with his fucking earbuds and listening to his music, mind his business and shit. That motherfucker's waiting for his fucking shifts to come up. That motherfucker's waiting for his next schedule to come out. Motherfucker's waiting for his fucking girlfriend to fucking stop bullshitting him sometimes. Hey, you don't know what's on that motherfucker's mind, but you know he got a fucking blunt every fucking few days. <laughs> so clearly something's on his mind that he needs to fucking get off. Especially since he's been learning how to fucking stay chill. Because he knows he needs to stay chill through all the crazy shit and through adulthood, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm experiencing adulthood and I'm starting to appreciate it now a lot more because they taught me this way early. They gave us all the guides, they gave us all the, blue, the blueprints. 
So it was just up to you to just take the knowledge with you and utilize it to the best of your ability because like I already know, some people already in this world have unfortunately been failing. And I already said to myself, that's the last thing I'll ever be. I will never allow myself to be a motherfucking failure. Never allow myself to motherfucking sit in the alleyway and shit. All uh, fucking dusty and shit. Haven't showered in fucking weeks and shit like that. Got no fucking money to my name. Haven't been living right at all on um, some kind of fucking drugs. On some kind of meth or some shit like that. No. I said never. You could already tell that I would definitely be far from that kind of reality anyway. Given the fact that where the first place I was able to move to was a place where I'm still able to record my stuff at. Have the ability to still be able to continue chasing my dreams because I put the time and work into what I wanted to do. And I saw the results and I said, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a blessing to finally see results and it's a blessing to be appreciated once in my fucking life. But I was always appreciated though. Because there was people that was out here that was complete strangers to me. That was appreciative for all the work that I did before the fucking people that I was just hoping that could acknowledge me every day I wake up right next to me. Telling me that I they just glad that I'm here. Glad that I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. Glad that I'm staying out of trouble and shit like that. It's the fact that there's strangers that can acknowledge that more than the people that actually are in front of my face. When I was just a kid. Already doing that stuff. I was a child once before. I mean, I was doing. I was a kid. We did kid shit. But I had that self awareness of not allowing myself to do the borderline. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he would do that type of shit. No, I, I get it. I had personal restraints. You don't see me fucking grabbing a gun out here. None of that shit. You don't see me attempting to try to ruin someone's life out here. Because I'm just trying to make life better for people out here. And make more smiles. Because I'm eating and I'm eating good and I'm thankful that I'm able to eat as good as I've been eating. And work at the same time. I don't have no complaints in my life as of now. Because I earned the chair that I'm sitting in right now. <laughs>